in the land of grills. Oh man, what do you got there? We've got a two burner electric griddle. This is from Vivor, folks. And I've been telling you folks for a while now, I'm finding this stuff on Amazon. They've got their own store on Amazon. And this stuff is very moderately priced. Uh, a few things though you should know about them uh, before. And I, you saw me do the pizza. I'll leave the pizza oven down. Thing works fantastic, but they all are in Celsius. So <laughs> when you're using them, you gotta remember these aren't not in Fahrenheit. These are in Celsius. So this is their two burner electric griddle. Runs off a of 110. It draws a lot of amps though. So you gotta make sure you got a dedicated circuit for it. It says 30 amps. So we're gonna find out. You can tell it's grooved right there so you can get some nice sear lines. I've got some burgers. I'm gonna do a little burning on it. This thing is stainless steel. We're gonna take a look at it online. And yeah, that table too, with the wheels on it, came from Vivor too. And that's pretty cool also. We're gonna take a look at both of them, folks. Uh, and we're gonna make some burgers on here, see how it works. But uh, yeah, you talk about <laughs> an electric griddle and, and it is very affordable. i tell you what, let's take a look at it online. All right, let's take a look at it online. You can see vivor.com. This, this stuff is also on Amazon. They have an Amazon page, but uh, look at that. This was 332 bucks, it's now 165 bucks, folks. Even comes with it, some of its own spatulas and some brushes and that. But uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on with this thing. Let's take a closer look. All right, like I said, it's two burners, two electric burners, folks. And everything is in Celsius here. As you can see, the C is even backwards. So, uh, and it is thermostatically controlled. When you plug it in, you do get a power. And then when it's heating, it is on. You've got your grease clean out right there. That goes down there. That's also stainless steel. I mean, this whole thing, even the griddle top, is stainless steel. And uh, the weight, it's not too bad. I'm able to carry this around. Um, it's not too bad. But let, let's, and you know, and there's, there's specialists that comes up. But let's take a look at uh, one of the reasons why this is not for home use. So there, there's a reason why this isn't for home use, unless you have uh outlets in your house that are at least 32 amps uh breakers most breakers residential breakers are uh, 20 amp at the most so you know i i even tried running this off my my uh i have a breaker just for my washer and uh it it, it worked it, it turned on but once you started drawing more than 20 amps it popped circuit breaker so you have to have something that's 32 amps and you know i just want to point out it did not come it did not come with a plug it came with three wires i put the plug on myself uh, in hopes that maybe i could get it to work but the uh, 32 amps is something that uh, definitely unless your house has got an outlet that can handle 32 amps or more uh this uh unfortunately is uh it's, it's going to be more for a commercial type uh restaurant type application so this is the one I was thinking of getting. Uh, it's 99 bucks. And I, I tell you, for that, I, I might just dive right in. You know, but I was trying to go through the specifics here and see if I can't find something that tells me how many amps it draws. And, uh, you know, it says 1,500 watt and it's 110. But it does not, yeah, it does not show me anything. Oh, well. All right, so there, there, there you go. The, the Vivor double burner 32 amp that doesn't work in a house unless you've got a really dedicated ser service to this actually actually when i first got it, i thought it was 220 but uh, i was thrilled when it was 110 and then i uh, got disappointed when i saw that it was 32 amps uh, i'm gonna seriously look at that single burner one uh but for 99 bucks um you know, maybe I can email them and find out how many amps that draws before I pull pull the trigger on that. Anybody got a restaurant that's got a dedicated service for one of these? Because, uh, well, I'll sell to you cheap. I was just going to sit down here in the basement until I can find someone to take it. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Thumbs up. Leave, uh, leave, leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.